Hello, and welcome to Quarantine Craft Corner. I'm Librarian Paula. This is Librarian Dia. Hi, Dia. Hi, I'm Dia, and we're filming this from the Barberton Public Library. Welcome. Welcome. Nobody's here but us and <laughs> our director, Sarah. Okay, so today we're going to make a lovely um, recycled or upcycled um, bookmark. Looks a little bit like stained glass. You could do this with the kitties or the adults. Um, and it's uh, all um, made out of things that you have at home. Because right now, you're sitting at home and uh, in your bunker, and we've got um, milk cartons, because I bet you have some milk cartons at home. Mm -hmm. All right. Make sure you wash it out. Wash it out with soap. Mm -hmm. All right. And Dia has cut out some strips. These milk cartons are very easy to cut, super thin. Mm -hmm. All right. You can cut with scissors, but if you use a utility knife, make sure an adult handles it and be very careful, it's sharp. Mm -hmm. All right, so now we're gonna take uh, take some Sharpies or other permanent markers, and we're just going to um, color like blocks of color. You just wanna cover everything, so you don't have to be too particular. Blue in here. You know, this is the first time I've actually done this. Colored? No, did done did, uh, do the um, book. A book mark. Mm -hmm. oh. yeah. We've made other ones, but not like this. Mm -hmm. This is be cool. You can do this same technique with um, like tiles I get from Home Depot or something. The white tiles. It turns out really pretty. Um, but I was trying to find something that you have at home. So I found this one on Pinterest. Because we all have um, like milk or juice cartons right now probably. All right, so when you get it. Color it all the way through. Get it all covered, colored up. Okay, so um, they used an eyedropper on Pinterest, which I didn't have laying around the house. Um, so we are going to use, they were all colored in. All right, so we're gonna use um, different things to make little drips. Um, I, you can use a paintbrush or a little straw. What do you want? It doesn't matter. Okay. I'll take the paintbrush. All right, so we're just going to, um, so yeah, what am I gonna do? I, I didn't try this before, so this will be a new one. There we go. All right. You go first, I'll watch you. Okay, so I'm just gonna take this and you're supposed to lay it level so it doesn't run all over the place because it'll start um, like smearing and blending. But if you let it just um, kind of oh, sit, up. see it's starting to already turn, it looks like watercolors or something. A little oh. thicker than watercolors. So I'm just gonna let that sit and- um, You know, put some right here on the grid. Okay. Um, and the instruction said, like, not to move it side to side because um, it'll just all blend and it might just turn, like, all, like, brown or, like, a muddy green. Okay. Um, but I, I did kind of move it around a little bit. I'll leave mine flat and see what I think that works. blue is really nice and vibrant. And the alcohol is just going to dry off of there within a few minutes. Um, I, I might have put a lot of alcohol, um, but... It'll still, still dry. I'm knocking off a little bit of the extra right there. Ooh, that's pretty. That's pretty cute. Okay. Um, and you can like blow on it if you want to speed it up. If you have kids, you know, have them fan it or something. I don't know. I was wondering if you like blew a little bit of straw. Uh huh. Ooh, look at that. Oh, that's pretty. I think I'm probably putting too much alcohol, but let's see. Yeah, that made an interesting effect. So you could do all kinds of stuff. You could take, take a fork and try to scrape it. Um, if you don't like it, you could probably just douse it in alcohol and just rub it and start over. But we're talking about really cheap, like recycled material. So, you know, I know my house has probably three empty milk jugs right now. So you can make a lot of these. Wait a minute, I'm gonna put a little bit right here at the top. That's, oh, that's very pretty. Looks kind of like stained glass. Mm -hmm. It's very pretty. 
Yeah, and like you can that. see there's like, there's really no wrong side to it. It's it look very pretty. Okay. Um, and I didn't, I could not find my paper punch at my house. So we used, um, used a glue gun and this was just some ribbon that I found from something else. And I hot glued a loop on the back. All right. So. Yours is almost dry. Okay. And then um, they also said you need to seal it because you don't want to stick this in a book and then have it like, you know, bleed onto your pages because that would be bad. Especially a library book. That would be very bad. Um, so, uh, but I know a lot of people don't have spray varnish mm -hmm. sitting at their house. Mm -hmm. Like I, I have used that to seal stuff, but I was wanting to find something that you might have at your house. And hairspray did it. Um, so... And I even did it, let's see, I did it before it completely dried 100%. I'm like, it don't bother That's nice. you. No, no, no. I'm gonna. Okay. So yeah, I'm okay. just, and I don't know why, the green like didn't really move around. Mine blended in. <laughs> so. All right, you wanna spray yours? Sure. Or you wanna let it dry a little more? Kinda nice. Sorry, Sarah. <laughs> you might wanna <laughs> we guess you might Sarah. wanna spray this in a ventilated area. Yeah, you might uh, wanna do that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you don't hurt you your might coworkers. Move over. Yeah, I don't want to asphyxiate my coworker. I spray my hair so much that it doesn't bother me. Oh, you know what? Hand me that newspaper <laughs> right there. Please. Thank you. Thank you. So what I'm going to do is just Oh, like you're more considerate than me. <laughs> there we go. Voila. Ooh, pretty. All, All right. right. Yeah, and even, you know, like I said, like. And we're going to let that dry. So, I mean, I tested those. Like, I sprayed it with the hairspray, mm -hmm. and I, like, closed it into my one of my own books, not library book, and, um, you know, really pushed and stuff, and, like, there's something coming off of this. So mm -hmm. it's it's a good sealer that hairspray. Okay, so you want to cut right. a length of ribbon? Yeah. Just gonna make a little loop right here. Mm -hmm. You want to cut right there? Yeah. Okay, cool. Thank you. Great. This is big blue. <laughs> this is my very ugly glue gun. That is my very favorite. All right. Do you want to put? You want me to put it on the back of yours? Okay. Mine? Does it have to be completely dry when you do this? Or you can do it without? Uh-oh. So I can about to see it's moving a little bit right there. Oh, okay? that's all right. Yeah, go for it. Okay. Right. Go for it. Do you, you want to hold the loop and I'll hold yeah. the Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'll do the glue. Oop, I think we need another, we need a, a glue stick. Oh, we need another one? Down to, down to the end. Yeah. There you go. Thank you. Yeah. Well, it turned over for us. That's all right. It's fine. It's almost dry. Okay, now you just stick it on the back? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Did you get your hand in there? Did yeah, and burn? as you can see, I have a little glue on my Did hand. You get but burnt? No, no, it's just glue. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. So. It's a little drippy, but that's all right. But I need another. I need one. another little shot. Right okay. There. Oopsie. Right. It doesn't have to be perfect, and you can have fun with it. Mm-hmm. Definitely. And you know, um, since you're gonna be sitting at home for a while, you can make dozens of these, and these could be Christmas gifts, right? Because it's only nine months away. So <laughs> you know, think about those Christmas gifts, like you and your kitties, and. Um, so there's Diaz. Mm -hmm. Very pretty. Yes. All right. And mine, mine's pretty much dry. Oh, yours is drier than mine. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, um, thank you for tuning in today. And uh, we'll just keep crafting over here. And please um, stay inside and stay safe. And you can send us your pictures of your crafts. Yes. And this is all filmed at the Barberton Public Library. So thank you very much for viewing our video. And have a safe and good day. Bye. Bye.